A sad da vas vodimo do Kartagine. Mnogi kažu kolevke civilizacije. Da li ste ikada posjetili Kartaginu? Ako niste, razmislite o tome. Ona se nalazi u Tunisu. Talasoterapija je niz preventivnih i kurativnih tretmana sprovedenih uz korišćenje morske vode i produkata mora. Ovakav vid relaksacije bio je poznat i starim narodima koji su nekada naseljavali oblast današnjeg Tunisa. Jedno od najupečetljivijih kulturnih nasledđa ove zemlje jeste arheološki lokalitet Kartagina, gde je kroz isprepletanu feničansku i rimsku kulturu, kako stručnjaci kažu, začeta i sama talasoterapija. Prema legendi, Kartaginu je osnovala princeza Elizar, koju su graci zvali Dido. Ona je bila princeza grada Tira, koji se nalazio na teritoriji današnjeg Libana. Iz Tira ju je proterao rođeni brat, koji je posle smrti njihovog oca želeo presto samo za sebe. Za samo sedam godina od egzodusa iz Tira, Dido je uspela da izgradi veličanstvenu Kartaginu i zadobije simpatije svojih podanika. Kako legenda dalje kaže, Dido je bila kraljica blage naravi, a Kartaginom je vladalo blagostanje, sve dok joj srce nije slomio mladi Enej, koji je bežeći iz troje stigao u Kartaginu. Pošto joj je posle velike ljubavi Enej napustio, Dido je postala osvetoljubiva. Naredila je da se napravi lomača na kojoj će biti spaljena sva njegova dobra, koja je za sobom ostavio. Kroz plamen stojeći pored lomače, Dido je, kako kažu, imala viziju mlado kartaginskog vojskovođe Hannibala, koji će jednog dana osvetiti. Prema istorijskim podacima, grad Kartagina bio je lociran suprotno od centra današnjeg grada Tunisa. Osnovana od feničanskih kolonista, Kartagina je ubrzo preuzela ekonomsku i kulturnu nadmoć u regionu. Posebnu moć davala joj je dobra lokacija i kontrola velikog dela Sredozemnog mora. Upravo u Mediteranskom more bilo je razlog niza ratova sa Rimom. Kartag je uvijek od feničanskih u 9. century B.C. and it was destroyed by the Romans in 146 B.C. during the second and third century A.D. Carthage had got his uh, or its uh, its better better time, its golden time. It was during different you know emperors and uh, and, and and Caesars, and in Carthage uh, were built many imposant uh, monuments, like for example the the baths. Uh, of Carthage, uh, which dates from the second century AD. They were built by Antonius Pius, and these baths they were the third big baths in the whole the Roman Empire, in the whole Roman world, after two of them, um, the baths of Caracalla and the baths of Trajan in the city Rome. Second, uh, second and third century AD, Carthage was a very big city. It was around eight kilometers long seven kilometers wide and it could have around 400,000 uh, inhabitants. So here we are on what we call the hill, it's called the Birsa Hill and there are some uh, rests of both of the cultures, I mean Punic Carthagian culture, 9th, 2nd century BC and the Romans had destroyed you know, all of these in 146 BC and uh, 100, la 100 years later, in 46 BC, the Romans they had decided to build once again, you know, this uh, the city, and um, they had built, you know, on these older, you know, foundations or on these older in Arrestes, uh, this new city Carthago, uh, the Latin name, uh, you know, of the city, uh, Carthago, uh, the third big city in the whole Roman Empire as well, after Rome and Alexandria. Roman baths, you can, uh, we can uh, compare them to uh, these telesotherapy, you know, centers, these modern, you know, centers, and we can also uh, compare them to uh, our uh, hammams or these Turkish, you know, baths. I mean, the principle is the same. These baths, they had different rooms or different water rooms, which had different, you know, temperatures, like hot water rooms, like cold water rooms, and like also uh, warm, uh, warm water rooms. Uh, these baths, they were not, uh, the water was not thermal, you know, water. It was just sweet water, which was heated. 
it was heated in 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 in, in ovens you know and these ovens they had uh, they, they 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 were uh, working uh, with uh, with uh, with with wood uh, for example the hot water room in in these buses it could have 60 till 70 you know centigrades uh, temperature uh, comparing with the, the uh, modern uh, you know uh, sauna sauna is is modern it's hotter but uh, by the Romans uh, the the sauna uh, the saunas they, they were uh, not that hot but they were uh, wet after the bath after sweating so the people that had massage they were uh, masseurs working you know professionals you know working inside of the uh, of the baths and the people they had enjoyed it they had enjoyed it because we talk about once in two weeks each Roman uh, went to uh, uh, to uh, to have to have a bath. A bath for the Romans. It was not only a bath to have a bath or to swim, but also it was a communicational place. People they could uh, meet others. They could meet other place, uh, other people. They could discuss and you know at the same time uh, to enjoy you know them uh, themselves with having a bath and with having a massage, which was you know really relaxing you know for them.